Sarah asks, how do you speed up your slow iPhone? Now, I'm running around trying to change the world all day long, and when my phone is slow, it drives me nuts. Your phone can be slow for three main reasons. First and foremost, it's old. It's old and it's trying to run new apps. It's struggling to run new apps. This is normal and this happens with old gadgets. Secondly, the brain, the processor, is working really hard. So this is where it's like trying to sync stuff or do stuff in the background. It's like thinking and it's doing a lot. Um, third is if it's reading and writing a lot of information. So this is like if you're uh, loading up your messages app and you've got your entire conversation history from forever, from every ex-boyfriend and every ex-girlfriend, let them go. So I'm gonna give you some tips for how to keep your phone running fast. First off, doing the whole double tap thing and, and quitting apps, it does not actually speed up your phone. Those things are in a, a suspended state in the background and it actually wastes resources to quit them and then reopen them. So that's a myth. You can stop doing that. And restarting it is great. I usually do it every two or three days. Uh, it's like a, like a beauty rest for your iPhone. It wakes up refreshed and feeling better. Also, you wanna delete any apps that you don't use to keep it running lean and mean. You downloaded stuff in the past that you don't need anymore, just toast it, let it go. You also wanna keep some free space available. So this is like, you know, delete any uh, videos or apps that you don't need, free up some more space there. Uh, the more free space that your phone has, the more room it has to breathe and to read and write information, which is critical. Um, you also wanna get rid of anything that's syncing unnecessarily in the background. So this is like uh, extra email accounts or extra calendar or contact accounts. Just turn all of that stuff off so that really it's doing as little as possible in the background. You also wanna turn off background app refresh either for all apps and turn it off completely or just for the ones that you don't use and don't need running in the background. Because basically, if you're in mail, then it's gonna be like checking Facebook in the background and this just wastes resources unnecessarily. You also wanna turn off auto download. So this is like anything that's downloading in the background, system updates or apps uh, or podcasts, things like that, also wasting resources. And beyond that, just get specific on where the slowness actually is. Because like if you're opening messages app and it takes forever, um, identify that as that's the thing that's slow and then you can toast some of your message history. Or you might have a huge game and it takes forever to load because it's a huge game. Be aware of that and either keep the huge game and give it a second because it's huge or you can toast it. Honestly, if you use your phone to make money, you use it for business, just accept the reality that you need to just keep getting the new thing that comes out because you want to stay peppy. Like you want this thing to, to keep going fast because you got way better things to do with your time than waiting for something to load on your iPhone. I know that's a lot of information. Uh, hopefully this helps and your phone is nice and peppy after you do all these steps. Um, if not, or if you want some help with some of these steps, we'd love to help. Just head to macathome.com because honestly, everybody needs a computer guy. If you dug that and you want more, head to macathome.com slash killer tips to grab your free ebook, the top 10 killer tips to speed up your Mac without spending a dime. It's in human language with no acronyms. Yes, it's a lot of data. Andre, good luck cutting this one together. <laughs>